Let me read to you from the Book of Botch. Today I want to show you how to sharpen chisels and some other things. Now this, this is a chisel. Uh, this is my favourite chisel actually. I bought it when I worked in uh, the cheese mines of Austria, near Graz. Before you start sharpening a chisel, uh, you should get some, some water and the easiest way to sharpen a chisel is with uh, just with a belt sander. I've always I've always liked Bosch tools. They kind of just work. Um, if you've ever wondered why they made a square belt sander, uh, this is the answer. So you can put it in a vise, and you've got a belt sander. Just a couple of tips before we turn on the, the noise. You want to grind the chisel to the shallowest angle you can. So if that's one, two, three, four, five, five thumbs long, you want it to be maximum of one thumb up. Um, you, want, you want some water so that you can stick the chisel in. To st if, if it gets too hot, it, the, it'll untemper the steel. So there's a, a set of colours. You don't want it to go blue. If it's a light straw colour from oxidation when it's hot, that's fine. But if it's turned blue, then you've, you've ruined your chisel. Um, best to wear ear protectors. Saves you listening to other people. And you just fire up the... <laughs> It's all nicely ground. You've got to put a polish on the edge, which I'll show you how to do next. When you're putting the polish on the the end of the chisel, um, you might need to take a, a bit of a burr off the flat side. You can put the face of the chisel flat on the stone. If you lift it up at all, you'll you'll destroy the chisel. So you just polish out the bar, just like that. And then to get the really sort of shaving edge on it, um, put the chisel, feel for the chisel being flat like that, lift it up just a little bit and cut, cut across the surface of the sharpening stone. This is a thousand grit diamond sharpening stone by Faithful. Faithful make cheap stuff that nearly works. Um, really nothing else will work. It's, it's too, it's just too difficult to get a decent edge with an oil stone. The oil stones don't stay flat. So that 
you can see you can see the polished polished edge on that again if you feel there's a slight bar you need to just just shave that off so you shouldn't feel any bar and it should feel there should be some edge uh, it should feel slightly scrapey when you run your finger across it not too bad. So the test of an edge is can you take a piece of wood and take a shaving. <laughs> so this isn't sharp enough but you get the idea. If you're wondering what what this is this is a paint stirrer made from a bicycle spoke works brilliantly so I'm gonna go and show you go on to show you uh, how to sharpen a, another couple of things um, first one I want to show you is how to sharpen an axe so this is a, a rubbish axe from car boot sale or a yard sale. When you sharpen axes on a belt sander, keep the axe nice and flat and run the belt sander along along the edge. And that will that will work really well. pretty good I think. If you've got a, an older kitchen knife that's made of made of quite thick steel then you can make it an absolute joy just by running the edge along the belt sander. You want to keep it as, as flat as you can bear. If you run it across like that you'll end up just incompetence and you'll, you'll destroy the knife. Um, just run the belt parallel to the edge. you're going to want to just run it over a, a diamond stone just for the last bit. Um, yeah, drill bits. Uh, I'll show you how to start sharpen drill bits. To sharpen drill bits, obviously first of all you need a drill bit and how many of you have got drill bits with the edge taken off them? You use the finest wheel you can on the on the grinder and uh, unfortunately it also needs skill you hold it and look for where the sparks touch the edge
it's not perfect, but it's a lot cheaper than uh, going and buying a new drill bit. With drill bits as well, because they're high-speed steel, you don't need to worry about the temper on them. It's the carbide structure, not the temper, that makes them cut. Uh, that's it for sharpening things.